So today I want to talk about why it's considered normal for women to have insulin resistance when they're pregnant, especially in the third trimester. It's a real common problem and people consider it normal. Well, here's what you need to know. The reason this is occurring is because there's an adaptation process happening to give the fetus the lion's share of fuel and nutrients. So if that mother has a subclinical problem with insulin resistance or a vitamin deficiency, everything will be magnified when she's pregnant. And this is another reason why some women get gestational diabetes during the pregnancy and as soon as they deliver the baby, start breastfeeding, that goes away. But the problem is that if a woman has gestational diabetes, the risk to the child for getting diabetes goes up by three times. So what a mother consumes during the pregnancy and, and before the pregnancy is crucial to determine and predict what kind of health problems that child's gonna have. So a lot of times uh, I'll get this question, is it okay to do keto and intermittent fasting during pregnancy, okay? Or while you're breastfeeding? Well, keto is a must, okay? But not intermittent fasting. I wouldn't worry about intermittent fasting. I would focus on keto. Why? Because it targets and improves insulin resistance. It's a precursor to diabetes. And getting on keto can prevent insulin resistance through the entire pregnancy, including the third trimester. A couple things you need to know. Trace minerals, especially chromium, are vital to take during a pregnancy, especially like zinc and iodine as well. But chromium really helps the blood sugars, okay? But these trace minerals are crucial in the development of a human body. So if you're deficient in any of these trace minerals, it can have huge consequences, not just in growing, but even that human being's intelligence could be affected by a deficiency in iodine, for example. B vitamins are also crucial to prevent a lot of problems. The B vitamins and other vitamins act as cofactors in the chemistry and in the formation of proteins. Also, when you breastfeed, if you take nutritional yeast or even brewer's yeast, you can fortify that milk. Also, you need minerals, potassium, magnesium, I recommend getting those from a lot of vegetables. And that way you can also get the vitamin C that you need. Um, also, vitamin D is very difficult to get from the diet. And so you really wanna make sure that you substitute vitamin D. And this also includes when you're breastfeeding as well. And lastly, make sure you do organic foods. You don't wanna be exposed to pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, glyphosate, because these chemicals can greatly affect the formation of healthy tissues. So if you are pregnant or you know someone who's pregnant, get them on a healthy version of keto immediately. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, would you mind putting a comment down below to tell me what you think about this video?